So what is the difference between the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller and the Elite Series 2 Core? Let's find out. The Core controller is a good bit lower in price since it only costs 130 US dollars compared to the 180 US dollars price tag for the full Elite Series 2 controller. That means you can enjoy some pro features on the core without having to shell out the full whack for the standard Elite Series 2. If you do decide you want all the features boasted by the full Elite Series 2 for your core controller, you can upgrade by buying a $60 complete component pack which we will discuss in a moment. The big difference between how these two controllers look comes down to the default colour mostly, as the core has a large section which is white, which will pair nicely with the white Xbox Series S console, whereas the standard Elite Series 2 is black all over. But that's not all the choices you have now, as the Elite Series 2 is customizable using Xbox Design Labs, letting you choose from a range of colors. This is for the full Elite Series 2 controller, however, as the Design Lab option won't be available on the cheaper version, as the core controller is only available in white at launch. Both the Core and the full Elite Series 2 come equipped with some nice features for all you serious gamers out there. First off, you can adjust the tension in both thumbsticks using the included tool. This is great for precision aiming in shooting games or tweaking the steering feel in driving games and can make all the difference to your gameplay if you customise it to your liking. The next feature, which will be huge for players of shooter games, is included on both controllers also, which is the trigger stop switches, which is a small toggle between three levels for each trigger. This lets you choose how far you have to press the button in the controller for it to register the button press. This can be big in shooter games where any split second saving in how long it takes to start firing could win you that all important gunfight and secure you the dub. Both controllers also have a nice wraparound rubber grip for more comfortable gaming sessions and a 40 hour built in battery that you can charge with the included USB-C cable. Both also let you swap between custom button profiles on the fly and remap those profiles easily to your liking by using the app on your Xbox. It's not all perfect however as a one thing that sucks is that both of these Elite controllers are missing the new dedicated share button which is on the new standard Xbox controllers. I love to use this button so I can quickly save game clips and it seems like bit of a miss to me that both these expensive controllers do not have the share button. The real big difference here between each controller is what comes inside the box. If you opt for the new Elite Series 2 core, you'll get the controller itself, a tool to let you change its thumbsticks tension and a braided charging cable. And that is it. Hence the name, the core controller. Now if you go for the full Fat Elite Series 2, you'll also get a charging dock, four paddle buttons to add to the controller on the back, additional thumbsticks options to swap out, a four direction D-pad and a hard carrying case to keep all that expensive kit safe on your travels. Now this list of accessories we have just mentioned which are included in the Elite Series 2 bundle are exactly what is included in the complete component pack. So if you do get the core controller, you can add these accessories to your controller at a later date if you wish for $60. So which one should you buy? Firstly, I'd recommend trying to pick these up on sale at something like Black Friday or Cyber Monday as they are very, very expensive. Then, if you need all the customization options right away, go for the full Elite Series 2 controller, which includes absolutely everything. If you really want a white Elite Series 2 controller and are not fussed about all the accessories, 
then go for the core, which will also save you some cash. And if you think they are both way too expensive, I recommend you go for the controller in the video on screen right now, which has most of the Elite features at a bargain price.